What's the deal, baby? Yeah, they know that the big boss can't poke through the door to touch this boxing real quick. Before I go in this gym, I gotta say this here, man. These fans make you not want to watch no boxing, bro. That's what I want. When I say in videos, man, these boys be on that fraud stuff, that's what I mean. Because it's like, man, you can't even have like just a regular boxing conversation without it even getting serious or you know, and like I say, man, I'm getting older, so my patience for nonsense is wearing thin. When I was younger, you know, nah, I'm like, man, I don't got time for this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm sorry, you too, for cussing, but I'd be like, man, I don't have time for that shit, bro. I don't care. You know, you got casual fans, they saying they picking fighters because they taller, they 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 not even skillfully breaking the fight down. They don't even watch boxing. They just like a guy. They, you know what I'm saying? They ain't never seen the guy they like fight. They just like how he look. And this the era we in, where you got dudes who like dudes because of how they look. Or you got dudes who like fighters because, oh, I like how he at. But they ain't never seen him fight. So they can't even skillfully break the fight down. This is where we at. Now, I played many sports. I ran track. That was my first sport I've ever done, was track. I love track. To this day, I could watch track. You know, I was a 200 meter champion. You know what I'm saying? I, been, I was running track from 10, 11 years old to like 19. You know what I mean? So I still can run, you know? So y'all wanna race, let me know. If anybody wanna get on that track, let me know. I still got it. <laughs> but all I'm saying, bro, at the end of the day is, I, you know, I didn't, on a track, I didn't have, like, belligerent, retarded fans. You know what I mean? Even when I played football and we were in a hostile environments, I didn't hear, you know, nothing crazy. It's like in boxing, whoop that nigga! And then you look, it's a white dude saying that. A little nerdy white dude with some glasses on Hispanic dude. You like, what the? Huh? Or they doing that on a keyboard, yeah. Stupid black nigga. It's like, bro, it just kind of puts you off from boxing, man. Like, you just be like, man, I don't, you know, I don't care, man. I've literally, you know, seen fighters get screwed over because they black or they a certain race and they going in. This, it's it's crazy, bro. This sport is is crazy. It's a dirty, dark sport. But I love it though. It's crazy. It's like it's a love hate relationship with me because I love it, but I don't like the other stuff that come with it. You know, you got people who ain't never been in a fight in their life. They talking, they talking gangster like, yeah, man, and you're a, you're a blah, 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 blah. and it's like, man, the only reason you talking like that because you're at home in your mama basement and your drawers and on that keyboard and you got. You know, ketchup stain on your front of your drawers. That's the only reason why you talking like that. You ain't never, you ain't never had no pressure with a dude in your face and he want to fight you. You know what I mean? No confrontation. See, I come up in that era, and I'm not even talking like I was fighting all the time. I'm just speaking for my era, okay? Where you had a dude, where you know, where stuff was settled that way. It wasn't set over no phone, no keyboard, nothing. You said somebody do, he came and seen you, or, or y'all saw came and saw each other. Hey, bro, what you mean by this right here? Well, this what I meant. Well, and, you know, and y'all, if y'all couldn't come to no common ground, hey, bro, let's go, let's go over here and, you know, let's handle this, and then it's over with. And that's how it was, you know? Like I said, I'm not sitting here saying that I was fighting all the time, but I'm speaking for my era. My era of people, we fought and went home. Nobody was shooting nobody and no stuff like that, you know? And it's not like I'm promoting violence. But I'm saying sometimes men got to handle stuff like that, you know? That's just what it is. But, because I got a couple friends that, you know, we didn't got into it. And then, you know, 
we weren't cool at that time, and then we got into it, and then we came cool afterwards. Like, man, you are, you, are, you, are, are you tough, bro. Are you tough, too. All right, cool. It, it's, it's, it's stupid, but I'm just saying, bro, like, that's how it is. But it's the fans of boxing, bro, sometimes that put you off. You be like, oh, I ain't got to worry about that when I when I play football. I ain't have to worry about that when I ran track. Like, my passion for football is still there. My passion for track is still there. Boxing, it goes and comes because of the fans. You be like, man. So sometimes, you know, you gonna, if y'all don't see me post, it's because of that. Like, man, this nigga, you know, I be needing a break, bro, because I'm like, man, these niggas. You know? It's like a love-hate relationship. Like, I, I you know, okay. Cool, man. Let me get out of here, man. These niggas tripping, man. <laughs> that's 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 how I do it. It's the only sport that does that, man. Like I said, man, we've been in, in football. I've been in hostile environments, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you know our rivalry uh, when I was in high school was North Shore. You know, like we used to meet up with North Shore football team and fight. You know, we fought a lot of teams. Yo, <laughs> yo, North Shore fight Clown Force or Alding. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how we handle stuff. You know? But it was just like, that was it. Like, everybody went home, everybody went on with their lives. You know? But we ain't had a fans like oh, saying this X, Y, Z, and F. You know, oh, yeah, oh, hey, tell those black niggas that a black football team. Like, we didn't, we didn't have that, bro. And boxing, it's, it's like that. Like, people are literally, like, say some outlandish racist stuff to you and, and think you just supposed to not say nothing about it. And you're looking at them like... But like I said, it could be this era because people nowadays, they want to be a star and they want to do anything to get their name out there. They'll sacrifice their life just for stardom. You see what I'm saying? They'll sit there and be like, oh yeah, man. You know, I see people do that to police. The police are walking the store here in there to get some, some coffee or soda or something. They start talking trash to the officer. He's like, Bro, this nigga ain't here. He ain't here. Ain't even worried about you. Or a firefighter. Or just anybody. I literally see people do things like this to start mess with people. It's like. And they do that a lot in the sport of boxing, bro. It's crazy. On my channel, I'm going to continue to push for you to have IQ and promote. If you're going to pick a fighter, you need to intelligently break down a fight. I do not want you sitting there talking about, I'm going wrong because he's white or he's Mexican. Yeah, yeah, he's the bigger fighter. No, tell me how I ain't going to see him skillfully will exploit Javante Tech Davis' weaknesses. How will he capitalize on them? That's how you do it. And I'm going to continue to push that on my channel. I'm no longer entertaining foolishness. Right? So if you come on here and you talk of foolishness, a lot of times YouTube even, they'll delete it before I even see it. And then you got people saying, oh, you deleted my comment. No, I didn't delete nothing. YouTube deleted your comment. If you put some out, out of line stuff, you need to, y'all need to look at the guidelines because if, on YouTube, if you put some stuff you ain't supposed to put, they delete it. So it ain't me. YouTube, like, oh, this nigga tripping. Delete. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. But like I keep saying, we have to get back to the art of boxing. We got to get back to loving the art of boxing. I love boxing for the art. I look at boxing as a art form. I look at it as a mixed martial art, like that's how much I like, I love boxing. You know? When I see a fighter 
use his jab. I'm like, oh, snap, man. You saw how he use his jab? He used an up jab. Hey, man, he hit him with a stiff one. Hey, hey, man, he, he using a flick jab. Hey, he, he using the jab, but he ain't even hitting him with it. He using that to set up something else. Like, that's, you know, that's how I'm looking at it. Hey, look at his feet work. Hey, man, his feet good. Man, you know, okay. Dang, he really on his toes. When you see B-Ball, oh, dang, he really on his toes. He in rhythm. As soon as he hit that back foot touch, he's springing off of it to throw his combinations. Dang, he really, he got his head off line. Like, you looking at, I'm looking at it from an art form perspective. I'm not looking at it like, oh. And that's, what, that's the issue. A lot of fans, they're looking at the fight. They just looking at it. Oh, he's punching him. No, I'm looking at the art form of it. How he throwing his jab. How he throwing his cross. How he's throwing his hook. You see what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. We have to respect the sport for its art form. Just like I respect football. I play running back. I watch Terrell Davis. I watch Ricky Waters. I watch Barry Sanders. I watch Walter Payton. I watch OJ Simpson. I watch Gail Sayers. Like, I watch all the dudes in front of me. Why? Because I wanted to learn the art form of the position. So I'm saying? I wanted to know, okay, how did Barry see this? Okay. Oh, mm, that's cool. How did Adrian Peterson see this? When you are in love with a sport, you try to learn the art form. A lot of y'all don't love the sport. Y'all love to be trolls in the sport. Y'all don't love the sport. When I ran track, I looked at Usain Bolt. I looked at, uh, what's that boy name? Uh, Tyson Gay. I looked at, uh, that dark skinned dude name. I forgot his name. He beat Usain Bolt. I ain't forgot his name. I looked at Michael Johnson. You see what I'm saying? And the list goes on and on. The U University of Houston track coach. I looked at him too. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, I paid tribute and, and respect to the art form of the sport. That's what we got to do. But you got people who just here to troll and poison the sport. I look at them as poisoning. You're not helping grow the sport. You're helping disintegrate it. I'm here to take boxing to another level and get the respect it deserves. That's what I want. But the situation is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Bounce gone.